Welcome back to the channel, Warhammer Man back in the studio and today we're taking a look at the Sunday preview and oh is it a big one. Before we get started, if you're into Warhammer 40,000, Kill Team Necromunda, Age of Sigmar, Warcry, or any uh, you know Warhammer 40,000, D&D, tabletop or gaming content, uh, this is the spot for you for sure. So make sure to like and subscribe. So our Sunday preview, Chaos Knights March, Charge, Lope, and Skitter to War. It's a busy time in the grim darkness of the far future. Tau Empire, Tyranin, and Eldari players have just had their new codexes and yet more is still to come. Uh, and there's a little video from them. Nothing particularly exciting. Uh, just talking about this week's stuff. But here we see the Chaos Knights army set is available. So this is the new Chaos Knights codex. One of the new Chaos Knights. And then two of the new Chaos Knight War Dogs as well. And then it includes the cards, the codex, the... Uh, transfers as well and this from what it appears so far is the only way the chaos knights codex is going to be offered initially and then same with the uh, data cards and the knights so everything in this box is brand new and only available for now in this set containing oodles of new pieces to make dozens of configurations this lavish launch set is the first place you can go get a hold of the new chaos knights kits their codex and their data cards with enough bits to build one physically potent knight abominant and two war dogs this is a perfect basis for a ripping terran stomping new army or excellent reinforcements for an existing war band of walkers this codex comes with a special edition exclusive to this set with a unique soft touch cover there are 50 data cards including generic stratagems for use by any chaos knights army special stratagems for six individual dread houses and six warp storm disciplined psychic powers on top of that you get two full transfer sheets containing nearly 600 decals in total so here we see the new knight abominant the knight abominant is a beast in all phases of the game the deadly guns that can reap infantry and heavy targets alike an armory of vicious close combat weaponry in the form of an electro scourge and a tail mounted Bale Mace and the malefic ability to manifest two psychic powers each turn in the perfect overload for your fallen household. This is a jaw-dropping update to the existing Cast Knights kit, so if you prefer to steal to sorcery, you can instead build your Abominant as a long-range Desecrator or a Frenzied Rampager. So this is the current Rampager or Desecrator kit. And then they have an upgrade sprue inside of the kit, much like what they've done for the Imperial Knights. And it includes a bunch of extra options, like the birds on top here, type stuff like that. Uh, you know, the big mace arm right here, or whatever you want to call it, whip arm. And then, of course, the new gun uh, pieces, some new helmets, etc. Uh, but very cool and very nice looking set. The old set is very, very cool also. Um, so this one is definitely pretty awesome. And then here we've got the armagers. Um, I mean, this is awesome. Definitely very cool new look and chaotic way uh, to do these knights. I like all the heads we've seen so far. And then we have the double gun combination one and then the hand-to-hand -hand one. So it's kind of like the counterparts of the Imperial Knights instead of just giving them the same ones. Very cool. While the Knight Abominant lays waste to all around, its war dog vassal, vassals snap at the heels of the lackeys of the Corpse Emperor. These versatile machines may lack the stature of their dark liege but they still pack a mighty wallop there are two available in the set and you can build them in three ways as the brutal carnivore the skirmishing stalker and the more standoffish brigand uh, so the carnivore is the all hand-to-hand -hand combat one and then oh i can't really remember the stalker i thought had one close combat weapon and one gun and then the brigand i think has two guns i think that was what it was the Chaos Knights army set will be your first chance to get a hold of the new rules and models. You'll have to be quick though, as it's only be available while stocks last. Okay, so no more of the guaranteed uh, coming out with this. So it's just while stocks last. So this, depending how many they made, this could sell out. Maybe not. We'll see. Uh, definitely looks cool to me. If you do miss out, there's no need to worry. The new kits and codex will follow separately in the next few weeks. Okay, so next few is technically three to five so it looks like they'll be shortly afterwards so that's cool definitely an improvement uh, as far as availability is concerned i don't like when they hold stuff off for a long time and only have limited amount in the beginning so that's really cool uh, next we have codex imperial knights 
Opposing the forces of chaos are the noble imperial knights whose new codex contains all the rules you need to get them onto the tabletop, plus a wealth of in-depth background and stunning artwork. New abilities to allow your knights to issue knightly teachings and bondsman commands to their armature-mounted squires, while the code chivalric will ensure they maintain their honor or pay the price. The book is available in amazing hardback edition as a truly scrumptious collector's edition featuring a soft touch cover, a ribbon bookmark, and grand gilt lettering. Imperial Knights data cards. Okay, so the new codex coming out. There's a regular copy and then the limited copy like usual. We know what the price is going to be on those. Uh, 55 and 90 And that's going to be coming out in next week's pre-orders with the night box, including the codex cards, all that stuff. But the actual cast codex will come after, and so will the new models. Um, and then next we have the Imperial Knight data cards. Easily keep track of your stratagems and knightly teachings in the heat of battle with the Imperial Knight's data cards. Also included are cards for the household-specific stratagems for House Terran, House Griffith, House Cadmus, House Hawkshroud, Morton, Raven, Tyrannus, Crast, and House Volker. Um, and then Knight Armagers and Knight Dominus. These are kits that are currently available. And the equivalents, well, not quite the equivalents, but, you know, two, obviously, what's in the box set. Whether you have a Chaos Knight's Army or an Imperial Knight's one, adding reinforcements will be easier than ever with these repacks. The Knight Armager box will now make their, make either two shooty halverins or a pair of close, oh, that's awesome. Or a pair of close-up and personal warglaives for one or one of each. It can also be corrupted by Chaos Knight's player into a duo of War Dog Huntsmen or War Dog Executioners. Oh man, that's awesome. So what they're saying basically is they repacked the Armager kit. So now you can build both. So you still get all the bodies, the regular bodies. Only now you're going to have both guns for both of them. And then also the Melta Chainsword combo for both of them. And then you'll be able to choose or alternatively even better you'll be able to magnetize now because you'll have all the extra bits you need to magnetize so that is a huge improvement that is honestly awesome uh, i'm really glad they did that i really really am glad they did that for people that like to magnetize that is like the ideal setup because otherwise you would have to source the extra bits or you would have a bunch of knights without arms now i did mine with conversion bits for my chaos knights so i had a bunch of extra arms that i was able to like use uh, but that is really really cool Definitely glad to see that. From the smallest knights to one of the bigger boys, the Knight Dominus kit will now let you build the enemy incinerating Knight Valiant or the bombarding Knight Castellan. Chaos Knight players can also construct an Imperial destroying Knight Tyrant for the glory of the Dark Gods. So again, they're saying they repack the Dominus kit now and you can build either variant. So you'll have like the giant, like a... Uh, what is it? It's like a flamethrower and then a grappling hook. That is awesome. That is awesome. I mean, it's more of a harpoon, I guess. Not really a grappling hook, but I'm sure you guys knew what I meant. And then you have the plasma and the big volcano cannon. Yeah, that is great. So these kits are exponentially better now. Because now they're going to have... They're all going to have the extra sprues to make the alternatives. And then you can just magnetize anything you want. That is awesome. That's a great improvement. Honestly got to give it to games workshop they're really listening because that is a huge bonus in my opinion having all that stuff packed in there as well so you know and i'm like all about the bits so the more bits the better uh you know i'm even okay paying a little more for stuff if you get more bits with it because you can do cool stuff with those bits conversions magnetizations etc so that is huge for me i got to really give them props on that one i've been a little hard on them lately uh you know about one thing or the other uh, but that is definitely a huge improvement. I'm glad to see that. Uh, so Warzone Knockmoon Rift War is next. Uh, that's a pretty cool cover. I like that. War for the Knockmoon Rift that began in Vigilus alone concludes in Rift War as Harkin World Claimer arrives at the head of the massive Black Legion fleet. The book includes new missions, new crusade rules, and a war of desperation campaigns to wage across the three distinct, distinct war zones plus a codex supplement for the castellans of the rift chapter of space marines castellans of the ripped rift and they'll have special rules that's pretty cool and new armies of renown for the warp meld pact and coteries of the homunculi so warp meld pact i'm not sure what that is maybe demons and then the homunculi that has to be dark eldar 
The new campaign book comes in an incredible hardback edition and truly glorious collector's edition featuring a soft touch cover, ribbon bookmark, and fancy gilt lettering. All of the nightly goodness and new campaign book will be available for pre-order from the web store from Saturday. And then Black Library, we have Karn, Eater of Worlds, Special Edition. Uh, very cool. I like that. He's got some cool lore as well. Uh, Triumph of St. Catherine, also pretty cool. Hell Winter's Gate, some Space Wolf action. See the Chronicles of Malice Darkblade, Volume 2. Uh, a little vampire, vampire-y stuff. Grim Repast. Man, there's all kinds of crazy book action. Twice Dead King, Rain. Okay, so some of these are re-releases, maybe in softcover. Gaunt's Coast, The Victory, Part 1. Some French, Krieg. And then obviously we have a new fac. <laughs> so Warhammer Underworld's Nether Maze, uh, which is this week's available as of Saturday, so yesterday. And the Warhammer Underworld's Netherway box set hit shelves yesterday along with the new Exiled Dead Warband. Before you start exploring the depths of the Realm of Shadow, be sure to download the latest FAQ, uh, FAQ and Errata. So for the brand new game, as always, gotta love Ge Games Workshop. They crack me up. Uh, and then we have oh, a couple of painting tutorials, another episode of Interrogator, some old books. And then obviously this week we have Warhammer Live, so that is 5 p.m. BST. Uh, Warhammer 40K is on Wednesday. Age of Sigmar is on Thursday. Skirmish Games are on Friday. And Saturday is the Horus Heresy reveal. And that is at 10 a.m. BST. So that is pretty uh, important right there. Big big days. So going to have to make sure to uh, check those out for uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday reveals from Warhammer World uh, next week. So very cool. Uh, so there we have it. That's everything for this week. Uh, definitely quite a few books. If you are into the various books, hopefully something came out or was re-released in a different format that you were interested in. That Karn book looks pretty cool. Uh, man, this one's really limited. The world leaders are leaderless. The Primarch is missing and Karn lies in a coma. Will in the eighth captain awaken in his time to stop his legions from tearing itself apart or will, will he be the one to doom them? This novel is now available in special edition, strictly limited to 1,500 copies worldwide. It features a faux leather cover, an introduction by author Anthony Reynolds, and the short story Chosen of Karn. So, short story, I'm not sure exactly how many pages this is. I mean, it looks like a good 100-page book, plus 150. Yeah, it's probably, I mean, it's pretty cool. The faux leather cover, as they refer to it, is pretty awesome as well. I still would have liked to see the gold around the edges, though. I mean, there's plenty of red. The gold would have really made it, like, set off or done, like, gold on this. Uh, but, you know, I guess not to be picky. It does look re really cool. And it's signed copy. There's only 1,500 available. So if you're into a limited edition stuff, if you're into Karn and you got to have this thing, uh, this is probably going to be the first to sell out. Uh, on top of that, you know, I don't know how many copies specifically at this time, they made of the night box set but these do have a history of selling out as well and again because this is the only way to access the new chaos knights codex uh, i think people are more likely to jump on it for early access and as well the models this is all basically like early access stuff and then they said in the next few weeks so we would assume you know that's maybe a month from now or so give or take uh, that we would get the regular codex individually and then all the rest of the stuff individually as well so uh, and then also the repack on the regular night kits. Uh, that is really awesome as well. Repacking those with the extra stuff, uh, that makes them awesome. Now, will the prices go up? Probably slightly, or maybe that's already accounted in the recent price rises. I'm not sure. Uh, but that is very, very cool in my opinion. So um, that is a huge, awesome decision by GW. Uh, if you're not into magnetizing your miniatures, I obviously have a bunch of tutorials on doing it. It is well worth it. And when you get a bunch of cool options in the kit, and you're not sure maybe what you're taking now isn't going to be good in the future or vice versa, you know, you have the option to just literally pop off the weapons, magnetize them, and either paint up those other weapons or have them ready to go. So, like, for all of the knights now, that means every knight kit that you can get will have every option for, like, that 
chassis basically. So when you get these in the box set, you'll be able to magnetize up all, I mean, it ends up being four, six, eight total arms. So there's going to be four arms for each one of them. And the actual arms you don't magnetize, but the weapons attaching to the arms you can magnetize. And then you can take any of the three different configurations with them. Uh, that is awesome. And then with this big boy, he already had two configurations previously, which was like the fist or claw and the uh, chain sword. And then he had the, what was it? Uh, I think it was what? The gun and the hand? I think it was the gun and the fist. Man, I can't think of it all of a sudden. Uh, but then uh, obviously now you'll have those options and then these options as well. So you can literally swap out what knight you want to take just by magnetizing the weapons. So that is awesome. It's like that for all the knights. So very exciting. Can't wait to see both these codexes. Uh, it's definitely crazy getting two codexes at once that I'm probably going to pick up, but uh, that is pretty awesome. So uh, so that's it. We're going to go ahead and wrap it up there. Always let me know what you guys think. Make sure that you get your limited stuff. Um, obviously don't want to miss out on those things. Uh, but that being said, I definitely like the repacks for the Knights. Definitely excited to see this week's pre-orders and uh, I'll be back with the pricing update as well. So make sure you tune in for that. If you're into this kind of uh, you know videos for Warhammer 40,000, Kill Team, Necromunda, Age of Sigmar, Warcry, Horus Heresy, you know, D&D, pretty much anything, tabletop gaming, all types of news, reactions, reviews, unboxings, painting, modeling, magnetization, tutorials, pretty much anything to do with the hobby. Make sure you tune in for our daily videos and make sure that you like and subscribe as it really helps the channel grow and also make sure that you get notifications. Uh, that's it for today, Warhammer Man Studios, I'm Warhammer Man and I'm out of here.